Hi there, welcome to Campsite Sweden. Before we start off this episode, I have a question. Do you know what kind of tool this is? Do you know what kind of what, what this tool is used for or was used for? Um, it has a screw here and um, yeah think about that we will uh, use this later in this episode but first uh, here I have two kind of uh, old time lumberjack <laughs> tools and these saws here they are actually from my great grandfather he went to Minnesota in the US and uh, to work in the forestry forestry uh, industry there. Uh, this this kind of saw, this two-man saw. You see, there's a handle here, and there's a handle here. And this this is supposed to be used by two persons uh, uh, to cut uh, cut down trees. And uh, uh, this type of saw, the two-man saw, it came in the 1860s, at least here in the Nordics, uh, and it replaced the axe. So up until this type of saw came, the only tool used in the forest uh, for forestry, for cutting wood and felling trees, was the axe. Then this came. In the... In the 1890s this saw came this type of one man saw and i think it's called a cross cut saw this one uh, used by one person um, you can also mount a handle here so you can have it you can can make it a, a two person saw if you want to um, and, and this, this uh, type of saw was used up uh, until the 1950s, 60s, when the, um, the chainsaw came. And uh, I also have a more modern version here. I can show you this one here. This, this is a, a, modern, a modern bow saw. Bow saw. Uh, with a hardened, hardened blade. Yes. We are going to uh, try to fix this today with the old tool I showed you and also um, a file. We're going to try to sharpen teeth here because this is not sharpened, I guess, since um, Hundred years back, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yes. So the first, the first thing you want to look, look on at, at a saw uh, to determine its condition, it's the uh, the set of the the tooth. You can do that by if you look along the blade like this, you will see that. Um, the tooth are bent away from the uh, from the blade at an angle like this. So every other tooth is bent on the opposite side like this, and that is important because um, otherwise it will it will stuck it will get stuck, uh, and if you have forced it into the uh, to the wood put a lot of force in onto the saw the angle will the angle of the teeth will be um, lower so you will end up with a straight line <laughs> I'm sure you know what I mean here um, and the next part um, when it comes to how effective a saw is is of course the, uh, the sharpness of the teeth this all kinds, this uh, old source, you can use a file, which we will do, and uh, file every tooth. With this saw here, 
uh, it's not possible to, to sharpen. They are hardened um, at production. So they are very hard and sharp. But when they are dull, you cannot uh, sharp them anymore. Now we're going to set the saw and then we use this, we use this, um, this kind of tool. This is a saw set plier, a saw set plier. The, uh, the idea here is to, um, is to um, bend each tooth to get the right the right angle Okay, so next step is to sharp the saw and then I use a standard file like this. Uh, we have to sharpen each, each tooth here, we have to sharp, sharpen.
there you have it. Um, it's it's um, it's effective. Uh, it's it's much much better before than before I, I um, sharpened it. Now it's um, yes, yeah, pretty good. Um, we will compare it with this this bow saw, but um, let me just. It's nice. Yeah, this is fantastic to, to work with, but uh, I think it's the, the difference here is, of course, that that uh, on on such a saw you have a large uh, you have all this material here and uh, it um, it puts some friction uh, from this uh, but but this one is since there is no uh, no thick blade here there is almost no friction and, and um, this is very very nice to work with but I think it's, it's mainly because of the this is rusty, rusty and old, <laughs> but a very um, fun, fun project. And one important thing uh, with working with a saw is that uh, never, never force down, never put pressure on down here, because that will make uh, it will make it stuck. So. It's the, it's the saw blade that should do the work. So uh, you can have a, just a, a gentle grip here, but no, no pressure. Or a very, very, very light pressure. Here you also see the, the width, the cutting width um, of the two blades. The, the right cut here is from the, uh, the bow saw, um, the modern saw, and the left is from the, uh, the crosscut saw. Okay. Uh, I guess I <laughs> I want to try. I want to sharpen this too. And try this one out also. But that's another a project for another another day. Uh, but this this turned out really good. This uh, set um, tool I showed you. Um, you can just use a plier, is that what it's called? A plier, ordinary plier, to, to, um, to set the, um, the teeth of the saw. So if you have an old rusty saw like this, try it out, try to sharpen it. And uh, if you have one like this, well, use it, use it. Um, that's my call to action. <laughs> today. Thank you very much for uh, for watching Campsite Sweden. Yeah, see you uh, see you next time. Bye.